Travis Scott was recently spotted for the first time after the Astroworld concert tragedy. It seems the rapper has been hiding out at his $14 million mansion in Houston, Texas, alongside Kylie Jenner. This sprawling home is full of upscale amenities, including walls of glass and two swimming pools, built in a modern style, much like Travis's main home in Brentwood, Los Angeles. Since we found the listing for his impressive property in Houston, today we'll be taking an inside look. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Travis Scott is a rapper, singer, and record producer who's experienced plenty of success in the music industry, along with amassing an estimated net worth of $40 million or more. However, his popularity isn't without controversy. The rapper was seen pacing outside his Houston mega mansion after it was revealed another victim died at his concert, bringing the death toll to nine. Travis is being sued by about 150 victims for inciting mayhem after over 300 people were sent to the hospital from his Astroworld concert. 11 individuals went into cardiac arrest and dozens were knocked unconscious. Not many know about his mansion in Houston's trendy museum district which he bought in 2019, but today we're able to take a look at the home Travis has been holed up. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. This one checking out Travis Scott's Houston home and more. We're trying to get to 500,000 subscribers and we're pretty close, so if you're watching and you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. As always, hit me up on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video. Not many people know of Travis's mansion in Houston, Texas, which is the rapper's hometown, but now we do, since he's been hiding out here recently. The property is located in the trendy museum district of Houston, which is the cultural heart of the city. Not to mention nearby, there's the stunning Herman Park. According to records, Travis picked up the home back in 2019 under the name Trap Trust, and it cost him $14.5 million. Listing materials describe the home as a true masterpiece of modern architecture, and looking at Travis's main residence in Los Angeles, we know it's right up his alley in terms of design. The three-level mansion is located less than four miles from the place where his deadly Astroworld festival was held. Travis's property spans 1.49 acres of land, while inside the main house, there are over 12,000 square feet of space. Elsewhere, there's a separate guest house. Not only does the home offer massive formal rooms with soaring double height ceilings and plenty of space, there are also three beds, six full baths, and three half baths tucked away within the crib. Even before walking into his home, there's a beautifully landscaped garden at the front which leads to the entrance. We can already see all of the walls of sleek glass showcasing the home's interior spaces, which is definitely a recurring theme in the house. Aside from the walls of budded glass, there's a great room with upper level loft and a floating staircase attached to the living room and bar area. The bar has its very own lounge area too, and it's big enough to belong in a hotel. There's a raised dining room nearby where the ceiling boasts a huge skylight, but it's not just any skylight. As listing materials explain, the skylight serves as a lit from within buffet table on the third floor roof garden. The open concept floor plan still offers some more private rooms, including the wood paneled office, and there's also another family room with lower ceilings attached to a white and wood contemporary kitchen. Travis's master suite encompasses another large skylight over the bed, as well as a sitting area, ensuite bath with marble tub, and more. Other features of the rapper's sleek mansion include a gallery style level overlooking the space below with sitting room, a full home gym, and an impressive rooftop terrace. Outside, you'll find an entertainment pavilion that looks like a five star resort with huge flat screen TV, grilling station, and plush seating. There are also two pools one with lavish fountains and one with a waterfall feature, as well as gorgeous courtyards and gardens filling out the property. I can definitely see why Travis has been holed up at this mansion amidst all the drama. We can only wonder if he and Kylie will be leaving Houston anytime soon. When he does leave, Travis can go back to his main home, which is located in the Brentwood area of Los Angeles, and he purchased it last year for $23.5 million. And with that astronomical price tag, the home is nothing short of spectacular. The colossal hilltop mansion was designed and built on spec in 2020, and stands 16,700 square feet of living space with 7 beds and 11 baths, 
over three full floors of ultra modern house. Although the mansion looks like it's just clinging to the edge of a cliff, it still boasts an acre of property and a generous outdoor space. The rapper's home is wrapped in a smooth sheet metal that was meant to mimic the lines of a modern yacht, according to the listing. And inside, there are unique pieces like a floor to ceiling walnut sculpture in the entryway by a famed Japanese carpenter and a 12 foot green wall that purifies the air. The main level is a full interconnected open plan living space with soaring ceilings made up of a single great room with a full bar fireplace as well as multiple seating and dining areas. The custom kitchen is also attached, which is constructed of black marble and top line appliances. Of course, this space has full walls of glass that retract to lead you to the outside patio area where there are panoramic views of LA. Elsewhere on the main floor, there's another more cozy family room while the lower level of Travis's home is devoted to recreation and entertainment. The mansion has everything here, including a full-sized home gym, a sauna, and a 15-person movie theater. Not to mention there's an expansive wet bar area, perfect for hosting guests, and a temperature-controlled wine cellar that holds 650 bottles. Tucked right under the outdoor swimming pool, you'll also find Travis's game room, fitted with a designer ping pong table. Upstairs, the rapper has his very own penthouse floor, boasting two junior master suites. There are more full walls of floor to ceiling glass on this level, and the master suite has dual closets, a spa style marble bath, and a balcony with views of the entire city. The grounds of the mansion were built to entertain, with features like multiple patios and a full outdoor kitchen. The 75 foot infinity pool is hard to miss, and it also comes with its own underwater sound system and poolside cabana. For more relaxing activities, there's a jacuzzi, a tranquil 400 square foot zen garden, and a stunning water. Wall. Let's not forget that Travis also added a neighboring property to this epic one. This next door property is a far humbler affair than that monstrosity we just checked out, but it still cost Travis a healthy $5.8 million. It appears the rapper purchased the law for the land value in the location, but there's still a house in the property, which is a simple single story mid century house built back in 1963. It was never on the market, so details are slim, but the petite abode spans less than a quarter acre and the modernist space included four beds and four baths across 3,400 square feet of space. Unfortunately, the residence was damaged during the Getty fire and while its outer shell remained intact, the current condition inside is unknown. All right, so that's all I got for where Travis Scott's been living. Most importantly, we finally got a look at his Houston mansion where he's been hiding out with Kylie and his team after Astroworld and he purchased it back in 2019. Now that we compared both of his residents, which do you prefer? The Houston home or his ultra modern main mansion in LA? Honestly, both are jaw dropping, but too contemporary for me. And if I were to choose, I think I actually prefer the Houston house. Be sure to let me know your thoughts on Travis's homes down in that comment section. And if you like this video, check out the ones we did on his buddy Drake's recent modern rental in the hills. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye.